G'day everyone, my name is BH and Dad, and we're going to look into this Dell Precision 3240 Compact. Now this is a new workstation from Dell, they have not really entered into this small compact workstation class before, so this is their first one. It's about a 1 litre size and I'm really liking it, I think it's actually quite cute. Normally these workstations are quite large, big towers, put some serious performance components there. Now this one can still do some decent amount of performance components so it's usually to do the graphics cards reason why those are so large but this one can still house the Xeons and also it can also house up to the Quadro A3000 so which is I've actually got in this one here so that's not bad at all now we're not talking about the laptop size A3000 we've got a full-blown A3000 in here so that's great to see so we're gonna look at the temperatures and fan noise of this computer so some of the features as well as the internals and of course the performance as well too I set up the maximum volume of the speakers. It managed to measure in at a peak of 79.6 decibels, which is pretty decent. Now, as for the sound quality of the speakers, it was a, quite a surprise to me. Normally in a desktop computer, I find them usually pretty tinny, but this in here, it's very similar speakers compared to a Dell Latitude, which is like again, it's a big surprise to me. So they actually sound pretty decent. They have a bit of bass, they have a nice bit of mids and highs, which are pretty decently balanced. And as for the acoustics, of course, it's not really anywhere besides to the front. Speaker audio test. Looking at the temperatures and fan noise of the Precision 3240, when I took my measurements, my ambient temperature was 21 degrees Celsius, and as for the room noise, it measured in at 37 decibels. So I took my base measurement when the computer was on idle, and the hottest area of the computer measured in at 35 and a half degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, hit a maximum of 39 decibels. Then I put the computer on 20% load, so that's pretty much average use. So that's tasks like office productivity work, streaming videos, surfing the web, and the hottest area of the computer measured in at 36 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, hit a maximum of 41 decibels. Then I put the computer on 50% load, and the hottest area of the computer read at 36 degrees Celsius still. And as for the fan noise, it went up to 44 decibels. Then I put the computer on 100% load and the hottest area of the computer measured in at 48 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it went all the way up to 49 decibels. When it goes up to 49 decibels, that is actually quite a low pitch 49 decibels. You do hear a bit of fan noise, but it's not a high whine at all. So this computer can be sitting right next to you on your desk, and it shouldn't annoy you when this is computer running on 100% load. The Precision 3240 doesn't come with an internal power supply. What it does come with is a 240 watt external power adapter. Now the size of the power adapter is relatively quite wide, but it is still quite thin compared to the actual computer. And one of the advantages of going to a compact form for the precision workstation is that it may actually consume a lot less power. So I actually did some measurements. Now, when I put the computer on idle, it consumed anywhere between 16 to 18 watts of power. And then I put the computer on 20% load and it uses anywhere between 48 to 83 watts of power. And then I'll put the computer on 50% load and it uses anywhere between 73 to 115 watts of power. And then I put it on 100% load, so that's max load, and it was averaging between 162 to 182 watts of power. So that's pretty relatively quite low for a workstation. Let's have a look at the internals. First off, we've got the front of the computer on this side, and we've got the rear of the computer on this side, and we've got the top of the computer on this side here. Now, you do need to unscrew the thumb screw at the back here, or if it's tight, just get a Phillips head. I'll pre undone this to speed things up. Now, the first thing you need to do is pop it onto its 
bracket's on to the top side and we pretty much just need to push this bracket down and push it to the rear so push it down and push it to rear and this bracket will easily come off there that little cover and then place it back onto its side again now we just now need to push this one down and push it forward so push it down and push it forward and you'll see that easily undo itself and just lift and then the case here now it does have some nice little labels to show you how to remove the discrete graphics and i'll show you that a little bit in a moment now we've got the system fan here for the processor so all you need to do is squeeze these two here and then just lift up and you should be able to just open that up and right underneath that you will see the two sole dim slot for the ram and then of course the big heat sink for the processor which is a nice good chunky one which is fantastic to see now to actually remove this discrete graphics now this is the quadro a3000 in there so this is the beefiest one you can actually put into this particular machine and you do need to actually undo two screws here you just need a phillips head to undo it i'll pre undo it to make speed things up uh, once you've done that all you can do you can actually just lift this thing up so just lift that up uh, it is on a daughter board here and you'll see the graphics card here so i'm just going to quickly put this graphics card aside and we'll come back to that in a moment and we've got the CMOS battery right over here and then we've got the first slot of M.2 for the MVME SSD and then we've got another slot of M.2 for the MVME again both of these would take on 2280 format style and then we've got the Wi-Fi module right here and that's pretty much all there is of this and to get back to this one here you can see this is a bit of a chunky one uh, we will just need to pop this thing out so if you go you just need to pop this thing out and then all we do is just to quickly take this thing off from its daughter board uh, it's probably just giving us a little grip it's not actually held in by anything else besides just physical force uh, so just kind of slowly pry it open there we go okay and you can see this is the whole entire graphics card there it's actually a nice little neat unit for the and a3000 quadro so it is probably the chunkiest uh, one of it and it has quite a bit of a fan on there and i can straight away see there is quite a bit of a heat sink underneath there as well and i can see there's probably other memory here so it is covering some of the the video ram uh, that's pretty much about it looking at the performance of the dell precision 3240 now this particular unit i have is configured with an i7 10 700 processor with 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte SSD and also a NVIDIA Quadro RTX 3000. Now, I've put up the scores for ArsMark, CityBench R23, PC Mark, 3D Mark, Crystal Disk Mark, Geekbench 5, MATLAB 2020B, Jugan Premiere Pro, Jugan DaVinci Resolve, Blender, Lux Mark, Redshift Benchmark and Spec View Pref. So, definitely have a look at the scores on this computer. It's not a slouch in any form. I think they've actually done quite a nice little performance for this small form factor. Having a look at the possible configurations as well as the performance of this computer. And having a look at the form factor, I'm really digging this computer. I think this is a great entrance to the compact workstation class for Dell. Now, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, even to support my channel, smack that like button for me. It does help me out. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, but hit the subscribe button, I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections and life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll catch you in the next video.